what you're looking at is one of the largest terrestrial true bugs in North America. Only question is, can I catch it? What's up guys, welcome back to Can I Catch It, the nature show all about finding a wildlife adventure right at home in your own backyard. Do you have a taste for adventure and like exploring? Subscribe to my channel and come with me as I explore my wild backyard. Today's episode, we're going after the wheel bug. At one and a half inches in length, this is the largest assassin bug and one of the largest terrestrial true bugs here in North America. To catch one, we're going to be looking on tall, leafy plants, because these guys are ambush predators, meaning they're going to sit on these leafy plants waiting for prey to come by. So if you guys are ready, we're going to head out into the woods and off the trails and begin this adventure. So one of the most common places that I run into wheel bugs is out here in this tangled mass of grapevines. See, it offers a very diverse habitat where I can find lots of different types of insects, possibly even our target species of the day. While we're looking, we're gonna keep our eyes open for katydids, tree crickets, and maybe even the occasional praying mantis as well. Cause while I'm out searching, I like to always try to find anything cool that I could show you guys. Our first step is to look for signs of herbivore damage. Basically, we wanna look for signs that an herbivore is nearby. Cause if there's an herbivore, odds are we can chance an encounter with a predator. Over on this tree, I noticed heavy leaf damage, which is usually indicative of a caterpillar or katydid of some sort. While these are not the target species of today, I decided to give it a second look anyway, because out here in the woods, we get a lot of weird creatures, and you never know if you're gonna find something really interesting. I couldn't find any signs of what the culprit actually was. There doesn't seem to be a katydid or a caterpillar on this bush, but I did notice this guy. And for a moment, I thought it was a wheel bug. The body shape was right, it was pretty sizable, but I realized this is not in fact a wheel bug. This is a leaf-footed bug, an herbivore that can be commonly mistaken for its very bitey predator. These guys don't have biting mouth parts, so he probably wasn't whatever was munching on this leaf, but I decided to catch him anyway because comparing him to an actual wheel bug later on could prove useful. It wasn't until I was by the fence till I actually noticed a plant that appeared to have somebody home. Have a look guys, this is the wheel bug. The wheel bug gets its name because of that huge arch on its thorax that almost looks like a piece of a wagon wheel. As an assassin bug, these guys are notorious for having extremely painful bites. See, we've worked with assassin bugs here on the channel before, but the wheel bug will beat any other assassin bug bite hands down every time. I've said before, if you do not want to get bit by an assassin bug, you definitely don't want to be bit by this guy. I'm going to have to be very careful when I try to catch him. Here goes. Oh no! He almost escaped. See, one thing I forgot to mention about wheel bugs. Like most assassin bugs, wheel bugs can fly. And for a minute there, I thought he escaped through the fence. Lucky for me, he landed on the fence, which gives me a second attempt at catching him. I'm going to employ the old plastic phone case that I used for the pale green assassin bug so that I can avoid taking a bite when I catch this guy. All right, we got him. Let's get both these insects up close for the cameras so I can teach a little bit about them. This first insect is the leaf-footed bug. I'm completely comfortable having him walk on my hand like this because leaf-footed bugs are actually incapable of biting. So you can actually see his mouth part probing the palm of my hand here. It looks similar to the proboscis of a butterfly of some sort because this is used for drinking the sap of plants, not biting people or other bugs. Another key difference between this guy and the wheel bug is on his thorax, he does not have the arch. By his feet are these leaf or flag-shaped appendages, hence the name leaf-footed bug, or in some cases, flag-footed bug. These guys have a lot of common names. Now this bug is the wheel bug. I have a very gentle but firm grip on the sides of his thorax, so I'm comfortable that holding him like this will prevent me from taking a bite. Wheel bugs, as assassin bugs, are ambush predators, meaning they will sit and wait for prey to come to them, rather than actively hunting like some spiders or praying mantises will. And like assassin bugs, these guys have those sharp beaks coming out of their heads. That beak is used to pierce the shells of other insects and other prey items, which it then uses to inject, like a needle, digestive enzymes, a form of venom, into its prey, which then dissolves the insides so that this guy can drink it like a milkshake. It's this venom that causes an assassin bug's bite to hurt so bad, which is why I don't recommend getting bit by these guys. You can actually see here, this assassin bug is in distress because I'm holding him, so he's actually already secreting some venom at the tip of his beak there. Yeah, don't want to take a bite. If you see an assassin bug like this in your garden or in your backyard while you're exploring, it's always a good idea to admire from a safe distance. If you feel comfortable picking one up or you have some kind of way to pick it up without risking a bite, by all means, go ahead. 
but just remember these guys are important parts of the ecosystem and are good for pest control. So just appreciate your encounter with the assassin bug and go about your day. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you again next week for another episode, but until then, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.